Hey, welcome everybody. It's college football time once again, and I'm back with Drew Martin out of the ATL. All right, Drew is seven and five on the early college football season, coming off a one and one week last week, but the momentum is going to pick up today. Oregon State is playing Utah, and uh, I talked to Drew before the video, and he really, really likes this under. All right, Pistol Pete Loshack is all over this as well, so there's a lot of betting value. Drew, first and foremost, it's always good to have you on. The only way it can get better is if you come down here and jump in the studio with us, and then you'll see the Costa Rican lifestyle that we live down here, all right, instead of only catching it on a periscope. Drew, with that being said, tell our viewers why the under is going to be the ticket casher in this college football contest. Well, Brandon, thanks for having me on, bud. And, uh, you know, with, with Utah, I, I've been looking to bet them under the total uh, really all season. And uh, especially this week, they've had bunch injuries at the running back position. You always got to pay attention to injuries. But uh, when you get two, three, four all at the same position, especially on the offensive skill position side, it can really start to affect the team and their production. Um, Utah is going to, in my opinion, have a tough time moving the ball because Troy Williams, he's, pl he's played all right, but mostly on the ground through the air. They've had a real tough time throwing it. And when you look at the forecast up there in Corvallis, Oregon for Saturday, it does not look good. It looks like a lot of rain in the forecast, 70, 80 percent chance of rain. And the wind is where it's really going to kill them. Uh, 30 plus mile an hour winds forecasted. So uh, I am not looking for a lot of points and a lot of possessions. I think teams the, both teams keep the clock running and we stay under the total, Brenner. I, I like that. And you know what? If uh, last week was any indication with some of the ball games that were being played you know, from those hurricane conditions, all right, I think these teams realize that as well. So I think right away, and Pistol Pete said the same thing about the weather, all right, these teams are locking down a game plan that's going to promote a run game. It's going to be low scoring. All right, the only thing I could see that could maybe make this go over is if you get some some fluke turnovers that lead to a pickup of a fumble and just run it all the way back because of the weather conditions or punt returns or punt fumbles. So I think something like that would be the only hindrance. Other than that, I have no reason, especially after hearing you saying you like it and Pistol Pete, I have no reason whatsoever to try to talk you off this ledge. What is the best shop line and the best um, you know, number that you got? Well, Brenner, actually, it's uh, 44 right now. And just to touch on what you said, you know, that's always an issue when betting unders. And, you know, it is sports gambling. There's always uh, another side to it. But, um, you know, when you just really put the percentages in your favor as far as uh, keeping that clock running, low amount of possessions, and both quarterbacks struggling through the air. On the other side, Daryl Garrettson for Oregon State, he struggled as well. And uh, with that Utah defense, I don't see uh, Oregon State playing very well. But as far as where you can find the best line, it's under 44 minus 110 right now at Jazz. You can see that on the SBR odds screen. Wow, great value right there. And yes, I totally have to piggyback on that because Pete said the same thing. Oregon State will not be able to score against this Utah team no matter what the weather conditions are. So that also plays in your favor. All right, viewers, you heard it. Drew Martin is all over Oregon State and Utah. The under, you can get it at uh, a 44 minus 110 at Jazz at the SBR site. So jump all over it. All right, Drew, thanks so much for being on board. This is a ticket casher. You and Pistol Pete, all right, you guys know your total. So I think as soon as I'm done this video, I'm going to go drop a unit on it as well. Hey, Drew, have a great day. More importantly, have a great weekend beating that bookie. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.